Hi, this is Dana, and today we're here to talk about security. Dana, can you tell me a little bit about this today? Absolutely. What we have here is the CADEC system from GE. Uh, this system has a lot of different things you can do with it as far as just monitoring the doors, windows, uh, motion sensors. You can add heat detectors, sump pump detectors, a lot of different things you can do with the system to keep your house secure. This is a battery backup system. If you lose power in your house, this battery will keep the system up and functioning. This is a panic button. Some houses will put these in closets, a safe room, if you want to call it that. Uh, if, if you have a problem, you think somebody's breaking into the house, you can run into the safe room and hit the panic button. And if the system is monitored, it will call the police and have them arrive at your house. I'm kind of looking at this down here. Can you tell me what this would do? This is a sump pump detector. Part of the benefit of this system is in Lakes Country here, we have a lot of seasonal homes. People aren't around for six months at a time. With the sump pump detection, low temperature detection, fire detection, it kind of helps keep an eye on your house when you're not around. Uh, if you have the system monitored, it can call the police or fire department, or it can even call your cell phone to tell you. For example, if you lose the power and your sump pump quits, the battery backup will keep the system functioning. It can call you to tell you you have a high water condition in your basement. This is a glass break sensor. What this does is it picks up the frequency of the sound of breaking glass and again sets off the alarm. This is an infrared motion sensor. What it does is it picks up heat from a moving body. Uh, they're pet immune up to about 90 pounds. Anything under 90 pounds, like your dog, your cat, won't set the system off. This is the outdoor siren that we typically mount in the soffit of the home somewhere towards the front door. Uh, very loud, all your neighbors can hear it to know something's going on. We usually also include one of these as an indoor siren. A lot of what this system is for is for a deterrent. When this thing goes off, if somebody's breaking into your house, they're not gonna stand around to wait to see if the police come or not. The sound of these two sirens is gonna be enough to scare them off. And you have smoke and fire detector and carbon monoxide alarms? Absolutely. These two components are active 24 hours a day whether you have the system armed or not. If you have a fire, you have a high carbon monoxide alarm, it'll set off the alarm. And again, if you have it monitored, and you live in a lake house and you're gone during that time of the year, if you have a fire, it will call the fire department to your home. This is the keypad. We generally put a couple of these in each house, usually in the main entrance of the home, one in the master bedroom. Dana, could you tell me what we kind of see here on the display that we have? Absolutely, what this does is it tells you which zone in the system is faulted. Uh, for example, we have this chime system on here where you can simply turn it on or off by pushing this button. A lot of grandparents and families that have small children like that feature, if you hear that chime, you can push this button and it will tell you which door is open, the front door is open. You just know one of your kids just went out the front door. That's nice. And what's the difference between a stay and an exit? There's two different ways to arm this system. The stay mode is just a little like what it sounds like. If you're going to stay in the house for the night, your husband's out of town working, but you want to secure the home and feel safe while you're home, you arm it in the stay mode. What that does is it arms all the door sensors but it bypasses the motion sensors. This way, you can feel free to live in the house and move around as you want without setting off the alarm, but if somebody tries to come in, that will, that will set it off. And versus the exit code? The exit code, what this does is you're leaving for the day, you're leaving, you're gonna go on vacation for a week, you hit exit. That arms all the doors, all the motion sensors. Anytime anybody tries to get in the house or does get in the house, that will set off the alarm. And what about codes? Do you just need one code or? Nope, this system can actually take up to 99 codes. You can have one for yourself, one for your husband, one for the cleaning lady. Uh, you can put in a temporary code that you can delete easily when the repairman's gone for the day. You can even track those codes as to who came and went and what time they were there and what time they left. Dana, if this system were to go off, how would it sound? Let's pretend you are the burglar breaking into the house and you hear this sound, tell me if you're gonna hang around to try to get some more stuff. Okay. I don't think I would.